What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Niche. So this is a new season I'm going to try to start playing here and it's basically a brand new indie game focused around genetics. This is a game where you start out with two randomly generated creatures and these creatures all have a bunch of different traits and essentially the point of the game is you create your own species of uh, animals and you walk around looking for more, you breed the animals, you do all kinds of cool stuff with them and so uh, this is a game I played maybe three or four weeks ago back when I had a lot less subscribers, and I figured I'd go ahead and try it again and see what you guys thought about it. It's a pretty awesome game, and one thing that stands out to me right off the bat is you just un you just look at it, and you see how beautiful it is, how stylized the game is. Um, like, every blade of grass, every single blade of grass, and every single color in this game are just beautiful. The style, the way it plays, the way it moves, the way their heads turn, even the models of these creatures are just fantastic to look at, and I've been a huge fan of this game since it first went on Kickstarter. I've been following it for a really long time. I think Kickstarter is where I first saw it. I can't remember. It's been a while. But uh, I've been following this game for a while, and uh, I'm here to show you guys today. So the first thing I can show you is um, basically every single one of these little green dots on their neck is a move. So you can move by clicking here. This paw print allows me to move to that square. I can click the eyeball. That allows me to essentially reveal the square. It'll turn a green color. And now that's that means it's part of my territory. That means my little tiger guy here owns that land. So I can see it, I can move to it easier. And uh, that's really all it does. Now down here in this little purple area, we have our food, it says 19. Every time I make a move, it will take one of those away. So if I make a move here to get an eyeball, that now becomes 18. So you have to collect berries and things and kill dinosaurs or whatever these creatures are in order to get more food. So first thing I wanna do is this one right here, her name is Eve and I bet Yep, this one's Adam, that's hilarious. Eve is sitting in a nest, so we can go ahead and click the little heart button, and that will make Eve pregnant, just like in real life, that's all you gotta do. And uh, if she sits in this nest, she will have a baby next turn. So we'll go ahead and pick some berries, and you can press spacebar or click down here in order to end the turn, and the beautiful night cycle comes by. The, uh, what is it, the shadows, I guess is what they're called, I kinda forgot that word. Shadows come out, looks really cool. We have a baby. So you want to start kind of building your own little tribe up, your own little world of these amazing little creatures here. And you got to be careful not to use too much food. Whoa, this guy's name is Duck Duck Van. What a creative name. So we can go ahead and walk around a little bit and see what we find. But you can also look down here and you can see a bunch of these attributes that this, this monster has. So it has speed, how far it can move. It has gathering ability. So it has a two for collecting, which means it's better. And I guess it's decent at collecting. This guy's pretty bad at collecting, and our little baby looks like he inherited a lot of his mom's traits. So these are all their abilities, and you can also look even deeper into it, and basically look at like their recessive traits. If it's um if it's not lit up, that means it's recessive. If it's all lit up, that means it's dominant. And so you can see a lot of these dom. At least that's what I think it means. So fluffy tail must be dominant trait. No pattern. What it's immune to. Um, just some really cool things like that. So you really need to get some uh, animals in here. You need to start breeding as quick as you can, you need to get your babies out there, and you can see that the baby has a massive nose, but he also doesn't have any green necklace dot things. And so that just means that he can't move yet, you have to wait a couple turns before he can move. And uh, once he can move, he gets one, he might even get one today, um, yeah he has one today. So now he can do one move per day, and then after that he'll be able to do two moves and then three moves and he's a fully grown creature, and then you can use him to uh, breed with other animals. You can also run into like enemies, like bad creatures, and you can run into uh, friendly creatures as you can actually take into your family. So um, this is early access, so there's a lot still to be added in the game. But I do know the developers of this game are doing a fantastic job adding things. And uh, most of the updates are pretty significant, add a lot to the game. So I'm no professional at this game, but I have done like a lot of research, like looking at the game, trying to figure out how to play the game properly. And what do we have here? A little rabbit. So maybe we can chase him down. Um, I knew one thing from playing is that my animals die a lot, so I need to breed and get like a pretty decently sized uh, army. Oh, that'd be a bad guy right there. So I guess we'll wait till the morning, uh, maybe pick a berry here, don't want to waste that. And then in the morning, this creature will probably attack us, maybe he won't. And uh, we'll use him to kill this little rodent and get a little bit of free food here. And mommy, you're going to walk down. Oh look, there we go. So this is actually not a monster, this is just a weird looking creature. So I can... Uh, actually click on that and now he's mine so i own this guy now i can go breed with him i can battle with him i think that's what we'll do try to kill this thing because it probably is going to take a lot of hits to kill him Jeez, that guy's got some serious health and then we have our babies still waiting around so like you're going to discover new creatures like this guy and we can look at it 
and so he has no pause. So I think that means, so I forget what that means, I'm not sure. But they all mean something, they all got some weird meanings to it. And then you can drab, drag and drop genes here to mutate your offspring. So claws, I think claws are cool. But I saw one earlier that was like, <clears throat> excuse me, poison fangs. That's pretty sweet. Let's give it like a high poison fang chance. And then what's another cool one? Antlers? Let's go for, no wait, maybe something for gathering. Blind eyes? Blind animals can only act within a pack mate's sight. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure why you'd want that. I could just add a weird mutation like dots, but we're going to go with claws. That seems like a cool mutation. So now there's a chance of me getting that mutation in the future, which is pretty sweet. And we're going to move this guy over here. And he's getting really big actually. Oh wait, no, that's that's our one that's already grown up. I'm going to move him in here. And then next turn, I want to try to mate him with our new dinosaur. I don't know why I'm calling them dinosaurs. I play a lot of Ark, you know, and uh, to me, everything's a dinosaur. So now that we've mated these two, this one's pregnant. Uh, apparently everything is like every single gender, maybe, because I feel like everything can get pregnant and impregnate others. So that's just something interesting to think about, you know, a little weird snippet of information there. But we're going to bring him over here. We'll breed him with this guy also, I think, next turn. And then uh, basically we're just going to create a really large army of these creatures and see how far we can get. Now I don't know if this is a game I can make a series on, like completely do new episodes every day, because I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to progress. She's already pregnant, okay. And this guy should also be pregnant too, right? I believe Adam? Or is she pregnant? Oh wait, I think she's pregnant. This might be the girl, right? Because her name's Remy. That's like a girl name, right? Dunklevin's already pregnant. Can, is this guy? I'm, I'm, maybe this guy's impregnating people and he's just sitting on the nest like a jerk. What are you doing, man? But yeah, I don't really know like if this is a game I can make a series on, like if I'm going to progress super quickly, if it's going to be kind of slow. I have no idea because I've only played it a few times and I'm not sure. Whoa, that dude like teleported on over there. Um, I just frankly have no idea if the content's there to be able to do it because they're still adding things every day. But I do know it's a super fun game and I highly recommend you get it, even though it's early access right now. It's really fun and it's just got such a such a good fresh feel to it. Like you play a lot of games these days that are really similar. <gasps> Here's our baby. He's pretty cool, but I really, this guy's kind of creepy. He almost looks like a bunny with like two black holes for eyes. I don't know, man. I don't know what that's about, but I guess we have one more move. He has collecting ability is too low. What's your collecting ability, my man? Uh, he doesn't even have a collecting ability, but uh, he's got some good damage. That's what he's about. You know, you don't need collecting. He's a, he's a killer. That's all he needs. Let's go explore a little bit, man. Let's go see what this map has to hold. And I believe these might lead you to new islands, so you can go to new islands. And looks like we have a creature over here. <gasps> a rabbit. Another rabbit. Look at that food, man. That's what I'm talking about. And one of these guys was pregnant. I just don't remember who. So maybe maybe it was this guy. I don't know. These guys will get pregnant with each other. And um, let's go ahead and get this guy pregnant. Oh, no. We're out of food. We're out of food. And that guy can't pick. Uh-oh. Can this guy pick? Oh no, that's not good, man. That's not. Oh, he, he still can't pick. I don't know why I moved him. That was a horrible idea. Oh, the, so when you run out of food, I think your creatures start to lose health or they start to die or something bad happens. You do not want to run out of food. We have four, six food right now. Let's get Mama over here to pick some berries. Let's get Mama number two over here to pick some berries. Oh, look at this little guy. He got some cute little fangs on him right there. That's pretty cool. So. He has venomous. Oh, he got the venomous mutation. That's really sweet. So he'll be fun to breed with people. We can make like a super creature out of him. That's really nice. So we're up to six creatures and I'm pretty sure here at some point one of my guys is going to die because they die of old age. They can't live forever. And so that's why I try to breed with everything I can as much as I can. So there are penalties for inbreeding. Um, right now, I don't believe there's a way to tell because I don't know if there's a family tree yet, but but I do know they will be adding it soon in the future. So I guess what we need to do is just get a whole bunch of food right now because it's kind of, we're kind of struggling to do it. Okay, so we kind of have this area of the map pretty well taken care of. Like I feel comfortable. Also, I kind of wonder what those little swirlies mean. Does that mean he's selected or what? I don't know. I feel comfortable though with this area of the map down here. So maybe what I should do is uh, start moving towards the north end of the map. I see a nest right here and maybe I could use that nest to start breeding some things together. Um, there's actually a creature over here too. Hopefully it's a new one. I'd like to get, well, it's a bunny. That's okay. Oh, two bunnies, two bunnies. That'll be some good food for tomorrow. And I really just have to move over here as quickly as I can because it, I might be running out of food. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm really low. I have one food and that makes two. There's a little rabbit over here. So 
I don't know, we're gonna be okay. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a lot different than ARK. It's a game I normally play and what my channel is built on right now. But I think it's good for me to expand every now and then and play a couple different games because I think this is a great game. I think it's fun. I think it adds a nice relaxing element to what can sometimes be a pretty stressful game. ARK is not a game that you could just get on and you relaxingly time, tame a few dinos or go on a relaxing raid. It's a game where you invest a lot of hours and you potentially lose a lot of hours. And I think it's really important to balance that out and have games where maybe they're not as serious, maybe they're not as crazy. And they're just something you can get on, relax, have a nice time, and just kind of enjoy yourself. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. I really do hope you're enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying this game or there's another game you want me to play, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm always trying to do what you guys want. I'm always trying to play games you guys are looking forward to. And for me, um, I just think it's important to expand out and try things uh, just when, I, when I'm able to. When I have an opportunity to play a new game. Oh, here's a guy. And he's got wide eyes. Ooh, he looks really cool. I guess it's uh, I guess it's time to breed him, you know? When in doubt, breed him out. I think that's what they say sometimes. Can we breed? Can we breed this guy? Maybe we'll bring him in. There we go. There's a nice little breed and taken care of. I guess it'd be smarter to put him in the nest instead of just... Oh, there's one that died. We lost one. Can we breed these two up here? Are they... She's already pregnant. It... Oh, he died. Oh, they're dying because they're starving. Let's go, baby. Let's get some food in you. Let's get some food in you. I know there's a bush over here. We're just gonna... No, oh, I don't know what to do, but we had a baby at least. Look at that little baby. Look at him, little little baby with the fangs. That's pretty cool. Okay, I see something down here. Oh man, this is killing me. And can you pick? Oh, you can't pick berries. This guy's got claws. The other one didn't have claws. And we have a little baby. Um, man, I'm not sure how to do this. Should I go down? I'd really like to. What? How we get a guy over here? Sweet, kill that guy. He can collect berries next turn, we can get berries, that'll be great for us. Okay, so this guy up here just had a baby, and that is a weird, derpy looking child. Look at that thing, man, that's like something from a nightmare. It's like a creepy dad, had a really creepy son, he's got like little holes in his eyes, claws are going through his head, and his teeth, his teeth are something, man, those are ridiculous. But these skeletons here represent the dead ones that have died, haven't really, dead ones that have died, that was nice. But they represent the guys who haven't made it, the guys who weren't really strong enough to uh, survive, they got old, something like that happened, and they just unfortunately weren't able to make it through. But right now, this is uh, basically the gist of Niche. This is what it is. You have a whole bunch of cool creatures, and you walk around, try to collect new ones, try to evolve your species, learn new mutations, and cool stuff like that. So if this is a game that you're interested in, something you might want to see a series of, tell me in the comments below, and I will do that, I will do that. I'll throw a few Niche games in here and there. And if you're not interested in Niche, um, or maybe you like it but don't want to see a series on it, I still highly recommend you pick up this game because it's a great game and it's just going to keep getting better. The developers are fantastic for this game. They're very, very, very active with feedback. They listen to what people say, they listen to what people want. And it's got a lot of potential and I have a lot of fun playing it. Just something I do in my free time. Like this is the kind of game where you get back from a really long day of work or a long day of school and you just sit down quietly turn on some music or listen to the beautiful in-game soundtrack just relax just chill out mellow out have a good time oh we got a new one can i get him can i get him with the baby oh we're starving we're always freaking starving man there's gotta be a, there's gotta be a better way but yeah this is niche hope you guys like it um i love you guys more than anything and i'll see you all tomorrow